With the 13,000 nuclear weapons that the nine countries have pointed at humanity, it's only a matter of time before someone presses the button and launches the first nuclear missile, sparking a retaliation from other nations. The third and last human world war begins. The nuclear war. With the distractions nuclear bombs cause, war is unlikely to last longer than a few days. It completely crippled all military forces and all national governments before even half of the bombs are detonated. Over the past few days, the majority of our cities have been destroyed. More than three billion people have died, roughly half of humanity. Aftershocks from enormous explosions causing surrounding structures to collapse and leave piles of kindling that are ready to catch on fire. The region immediately surrounding the craters is now uninhabitable. The mushroom clouds carry a large portion of the fallouts high into the atmosphere, where it travels all across the planet. In the midst of raging fires, smoke billows into the atmosphere from the burned out cities, and black carbon enters the atmosphere in hundreds of megatons. While some of the smoke would be washed away by rain, a large portion would float into the upper atmosphere and remain above the clouds, blocking out the light. Black carbon absorbs the sunlight before it reaches the Earth. Around the planet, Temperatures fall to just around freezing. The amount of rain that falls on Earth decreases as temperatures drop. Summer is no longer a season. There are simply no longer any growing seasons on the planet. And famine grips the entire world. As crops dwindle, the surviving population is turning to the oceans for food. But they would be disappointed since much of the richness of the ocean has also vanished. Pressure waves come from strong explosions, propagate all through the Earth's crust, causing massive earthquakes, even at distances within hundreds of kilometers from the blast points. At this point, the ozone layer has been significantly damaged by chemical processes in the atmosphere. UV radiation is being blasted into Earth's surface, reducing plant growth and damaging the DNA of crops like corn. All of the survivors of the explosions are now starving to death. Industries collapsed in almost every country. There's no gas or electricity available anymore to warm up the homes. And not enough firewood is available for everyone in many regions. The healthcare system is failing. And there isn't enough medication left to treat infections and diseases. Even tiny cuts can cause infections and death. The fallout from radioactive blasts has coated the entire world. Many people are developing various cancers. Countless more individuals are dying from starvation due to the food crisis and record-breaking winter. And the death toll is continuously rising. There is not much of mankind left 
The wealthy and powerful individuals in fallout shelters are presumably still alive, but only until they run out of food and have to go and find more. They'll face a radioactive frozen world. Winter has been present everywhere for the past 7,300 days. Almost every species of large animals went extinct, including humans. This is the moment of humanity's extinction. This is the end. The planet, however, remains still. The explosion scars have healed, and life is growing, possibly more so than when humans were present. It's possible that intelligent life may someday recover and find out what happened. But discovering evidence is almost impossible since the extinction of mankind occurred millions of years ago. It's like we never existed, never. Maybe this isn't the first time that humans have vanished from the planet. Maybe we were far older than we believed. Was there a civilization on Earth before humans? Prehistoric humans? You may find your answer in another untruth.